find Peter Parker. Hi, I have COVID and I'm bored. So um, I made another video. So this week's video is on how I think the swinging in Miles Morales is not as good as the swinging in Spider-Man PS4 because this is definitely worth your time. If you ever played the PS4 Spider-Man, first of all, it's awesome. It makes you feel like you are Spider-Man. And I don't just mean that in the sense of like, you know, you can like punch bad guys and you're really strong because like, how do you do that in my day-to-day -day life and I'm ripped and sweet? What I mean is they use a lot of like the same shots from Sam Raimi's movies of him swinging and dealing with criminals in their cars and everything, like like throwing them out of the car and like webbing them up in like really cool creative ways. Like see how the car is moving right here. And then he just zips the web on a building and then he just leaves the guy. And since the car is moving and you know, the building that he's tied to is not, the guy just gets pulled out of the car, but not really, he doesn't get pulled out of the car. The car keeps going and leaves him in the same spot. Like if you were a web guy, that's what you would think of, you know? And on a side note too, I really like that uh, Spider-Man is one of the only heroes that um, actually still saves people, you know? Like in every other superhero movie, the superhero is always like fighting ultra powerful enemies, but Spider-Man in his movies is still the one always saving people. That's nice. Like you don't really see that a lot. Anyways, the swinging. So if you get, look at the way Peter Parker Spider-Man swings here, he has a clear trajectory and he's moving, you know, downward or whatever it is. And when he shoots the web, the arc continues from his jump arc and it swings down. And then when he lets go of it, it kind of like shoots him back up according to which way it was going. Obviously there are small changes made here and there to make the swinging style a little bit smooth. If it was 100% accurate to real life, um, none of this would be possible. You can't get that angle of a swing going forward when you shoot a web diagonally on a building. The centrifugal point would be the web on the building. It wouldn't take you straight forward, right? So obviously there are some things that they fictionalize to get a better effect for the game and to make it feel good playing it. So there you go. So, so Peter Parker's swing, simple, effective. He's going down, shoots the web, still going down, starts to arc. He's coming up, you let go or press X to jump or whatever. He jumps in that direction. Okay, in Miles Morales, this is what happens. So if you look here, Miles is in the air. He has a clear trajectory of whatever way he's going. And when you press the R2 button to shoot the web, before the web is even shot, his body elevates up a little bit, right? Which is like, okay, how is his body moving up already if the web, first of all, hasn't even come out of his hand yet? I get that if it hasn't even hit the building yet and he starts to arc up, that's fine because Peter Parker's one kind of does that. But his model flies up a little bit and it swings. Then the swing arc, if you see here, is going more forward than it is going downward and up like an actual arc should be. It doesn't feel like it's the length of the rope. It feels like the rope is shortening in the middle and then elongating at the end. And then at the very end here, when you press X to, you know, like hop out of it, because the arc was straight or more of a straight line like this, I hope that I, hope that I drew a good diagram here because I'm just pointing at an empty wall. When it goes like, like that, and then you hit X, he goes up as if the whole thing dipped down like Peter Parker's. So in a sense, people who, you know, and I'm only making this video because a lot of people told me they're like, oh, that, the new Miles Morales game is so cool. They like really updated the swinging and they just made it like super smooth, like it's way smoother. And yes, it is smoother. If you look at the comparison of the lines, the Miles Morales one moves at a more straight, smoother angle than the Peter Parker one. But because of that, it's kind of less of a challenge and it makes it like easier to traverse around the map. Um, I'm not saying that like that's necessarily a good or bad thing, but what I'm just saying is that personally, I like Peter Parker's swing arc because it feels more like a swing. Like there's a clear dip, an increase in momentum and a clear rise. And because of that, it kind of makes it a little bit more of a challenge to swing around the city and to get from place to place. And it kind of makes you feel a little bit more like Spider-Man. So that's why I like the Peter Parker PS4 swinging more than the Miles Morales one.